this week's gospel, we hear that a man called Lazarus is not well and his sisters Martha and Mary are really concerned about him. They send word to Jesus because they believe he will come to help him. However, Jesus doesn't come straight away. He knows how ill Lazarus is, but he still waits two days before travelling to see him. By this point, Lazarus has already been in his tomb for four days. Jesus knows exactly what's going to happen and he is showing his obedience to God by waiting those extra days because he knows that through Lazarus' resurrection, God will be glorified. Even though people have seen Jesus perform all sorts of miracles, like healing the blind man, people who had leprosy and healing the paralyzed man, there are still some people following Jesus who aren't quite sure if he's the Messiah or not. They still don't fully believe and they pressure Jesus to declare plainly that he is the son of God that they've been waiting for. And that's exactly what he does. Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. If anyone believes in me, even though he dies, will live. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Through Lazarus's resurrection, Jesus shows us that he ultimately has power over death and we should take hope. Jesus is foreshadowing his own death here and is also telling us that it's okay because he is going to rise again. This gospel invites us to believe more deeply in Jesus. Our faith tells us that those who are like Martha and Mary in their beliefs in Jesus, that he is the resurrection and the life, will find eternal life in heaven. There may be times in our lives where we have had to wait for something. We've had to show patience when things aren't given straight to us and this is how we must respond to God. We must wait like Jesus did until the time is right. God's plan for us involves us waiting. If we didn't have to wait for things, then we wouldn't need to have faith. God knows what he is doing and we should trust him. Even though Martha is upset when Jesus eventually arrives, she trusts that everything is going to be okay because of her confidence that God will do anything Jesus asks. We need to have that same faith. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good Lord, set me to be a strong and mighty pillar for your true church. I pray for all Christians and people of faith around the world who face persecution and discrimination. Help me in each and every day, Lord, to have an open heart for people as fortunate as me and to be thankful for everything I have. Amen. St. John for sure, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.